other people of the internet. I just performed a he-mom trick. I got this one on my back, and I just carried those boxes up the stairs. I had to get them up here because I was way too excited to wait for Ryan, and because, Levi, did you wanna come in? Levi's just sitting out here, enjoying there. You can stay if you want. Are you gonna come in? Okay, come on. Ryan is going to pick up a, there's like a yard sale site that my friend showed me. I need a wooden high chair for Rev's first birthday party and it was only 10 bucks, couldn't pass it up, so Ryan's going to pick that up after work. So I didn't think he was gonna make it just in case he doesn't make it home in time for the office not to close because their packages go to the office. So that is why I went and got it and now I'm out of breath. Okay, all right. Are you okay? You wanna come out? Rev, do you want to help me open your packages? So this one, I have no clue what is in here. Ryan told me that a package came yesterday, but we just missed the office. Like, they had just dropped it off, and the office had closed. Um, and so I don't know what this is. I ordered her dress for her first birthday, and that is on its way. But this is way too heavy. It's like 11 pounds, it said. Obviously, her dress is not weighing no 11 pounds. So, and that's coming from Australia, I think. And this is not an international delivery. So, I don't know what this is, guys, but we're about to find out. Oh. I know what it is. But I can't tell you guys. You'll find out soon. We're gonna open Red's box. But first, you have to back up because Mama's got a knife. So let me take this over here. Let's open. So that we don't have no hurt babies. All right, here we go. First 100 words. So we have a book for you to learn words. Then this right here, which is a shape board or a shape puzzle. I got a bunch of learning stuff for her basically because she's really at that exploring stage trying to put things in things and she needs some new stuff. So this is what I got her. And so we'll see how she feels about that. Are you playing? Yeah? Oh, what is that? Next thing we got. The Hape um, brand is what her cube is too. I just really like the brand. Like just the look of the toys is a bunch of building blocks. And a bunch of different shapes. And I'll link everything down below. So if you guys are interested in anything that we got, you can check it out. And the last thing that I got, she like really likes the cars that are um, at Ryan's parents' house. So I wanted to give her some kind of little cars, but these have animals on too, so she can learn about animals as well. And they move on their own, but on the carpet they obviously won't really work very well. And the heads move back and forth when they move. So I don't plan to give her all of her new toys only now, because I obviously don't want her to become disinterested in these, but I just took them out so you guys could see them, and now she's just in new toy paradise over here, having a blast. P.S. We did actually get a good amount done last night. Well, Ryan did, because like you guys know, like my back was not having it last night. <laughs> but it looks like it's more of a mess because I don't know if you guys have noticed this pile that seems to keep building over here. And it's because it's the pile minus her diaper bag of things we're getting rid of. So, and obviously the keyboard, not getting rid of that either. So we actually had like a pile of boxes that have still not gotten unpacked from when we moved and they were on my side of the bed, like in the corner. And so Ryan went through all of that last night. And that pile over there is stuff we just have, to, we're donating or I need to go through and see if there's anything that I can sell. But pretty much all of it is gonna get donated. So it's just been sitting there waiting to be taken out to our car so we can go and give it to hopefully a new person that will enjoy it and find some kind of use for it. So that is why there's like a growing pile over there. <laughs> I don't know if I haven't started the vlog yet or not because I'm not with her. Basically, Ariana's been looking for a wooden high chair for Rev's birthday party. And she found one, I, I assume, on Craigslist. It's like a half hour away from us, and so I'm going now. I just left work. I've got the old camera, like the extra camera, you know. You can probably tell from the quality, though, that it's the extra. And so I'm going to go take a look at that and if it's in good condition I'm gonna buy it and yeah so this morning 
on my way out the door, I grabbed this camera because I was like, hey, why not get some fun footage when I'm out instead of just when I get home, you know, that boring stuff that it always is. Let's switch it up a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. And don't forget guys, it's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Somebody asked me to sing that song, so there you go. So I just got revved down for a nap. Ryan just got off work and he is going to get the high chair now. I'm just enjoying the current sunset we have, which you guys can't really see because like those apartments over there block it, but. So I'm nearing the house that I gotta go to get this thing. And I'm in, a, I basically the whole way here was going through areas that I've never been in. So it's been really interesting to see everything that's around and this, this is a neat little neighborhood. It's like um, tucked away, backed up to a river. It's kind of neat. Oh, I think I might be able to see the river. Might be. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to see the river right here. Maybe. Oh, oh, it's right down there. I don't know if you could see it, but it was down there. So I'm at the address, and I was, and there's nobody home, and it was planned that nobody was gonna be home, but. I don't see a high chair anywhere. I like walked around, don't see one anywhere. Ariana wasn't able to get a hold of the woman and obviously it was nowhere to be seen. It's kind of a bummer. But I'm almost home now, stuck in a train. So I figured what better time to whip the camera out there right now. Ryan just got home. We have stuff we gotta do tonight. We have to go to Target. Because I'm out of prenatal vitamins, and Ryan pointed out that he's pretty sure the last time that I ran out of prenatal vitamins, I had the same back problems, which seems so weird. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But it could be because literally the next day after I missed my prenatal vitamin, my back was killing me. Um, so I've missed two days now because I keep forgetting to go get more. I know, that's bad. So we're gonna go to Target tonight so I can get my vitamins. Rev today stood up in her crib for the first time, but she did it in her crib. So I saw her after she was already standing um, on her monitor. I took a picture of it though, so I'll insert it here for you guys so you can see her standing in her crib. So we're gonna have to lower her crib down again because like she's like here on the crib and that makes me nervous. So I don't even wanna play with that. So we're gonna lower it all the way down. Which also makes me a little worried because it's already getting difficult for me putting her in and out of the crib. And my stomach's not even really big at all. Like, it's barely there. And it's already difficult for me to get her in and out. So hopefully it doesn't get a lot harder. Are you ready to play? You wanna play with the, the cars? Here we go, ready? Here comes a lion. Whee! Want the lamb? Oh, that was a tiger. That wasn't a lion, sorry. Get the lamb! Oh no! Get the doggy! Good job! Well, don't break them. Can you say how to flip them? No. You can't. It's already 740 guys. 740. And don't mind this pile of boxes behind me. Look at, look at that. There's a ton of boxes. Ariana has been wanting fettuccine alfredo for like the last couple of days. She's just been like, I want fettuccine alfredo. So. Oh, P.S. I was good. You're good what? The smaller alfredo dipping sauce, the boat, yeah. comes with four breadsticks. Oh, yeah. So I just got that. Mm, gotcha. So we get six breadsticks because our meal comes with two. So if you didn't catch on from what she was just saying. We are behaving ourselves and sharing a meal. From Olive Garden. Yes. To go. We just went, well I just went into Target really quick. Hey Rob, you're okay, because I got my prenatals and I got a few things like fruit and such that was on sale and got some kale so we can make some juice. We're headed to the P.O. Box really quick and then we're gonna go pick up some Olive Garden and then go home and get Rob some food. It's so late. I didn't realize it was this late and she took like a really long nap. Um, which no surprise because I was battling getting her down for a nap for like an hour and a half. <laughs> She's really difficult with naps when she is teething. So every 10 minutes of me going in there, 
and either trying to comfort nurse her to get her to go to sleep or just walking around with her or because she learned to sit up and then also she learned to stand up. And so it's just a battle between a bunch of things. I will say that Revlin is a fairly easy baby, but when your child is teething and learns to sit up and like from a laying position and pull up all at the same time, it's like the worst trio. <laughs> Because it makes for a non-sleeping child, that's for sure. So, we got this package. We're going to be doing a, a sponsored video soon. And so they sent us this. We knew it was coming to the P.O. Box. And so it said it delivered to the P.O. Box. And we're like, okay, sweet. And then yesterday, we got a package delivered to the apartment. And it was the same thing. So now, we have two of these so we're gonna have I'm gonna have to email them and say hey did you know that you accidentally sent us two but I guarantee you guys you are going to love the I sponsored I I video a secret. yeah I didn't tell them what it was I just oh you didn't tell me it was in it no that's funny because I opened it and I was like I don't know what this is and I opened it up and I was like oh I can't tell you guys what it is yet <laughs> so I think you guys are really gonna like it if we didn't think you'd like it we obviously wouldn't do it and um obviously we're choosing something we like because when we talked to you guys about sponsored videos that was how long ago like that was before we went to tennessee so july and June. we're just doing our first one now and we get other offers we're trying to make sure that whatever we do you know because i think sometimes sponsorship videos can be annoying oh so yeah. we're making sure that whatever we do that it's something that we would actually want and that it's something that we think you guys would actually like and, and we think you there's guys a pretty like good it. uh promo code with it oh yeah this is probably so, one of the best promo codes i've seen oh for yeah. sponsorships you're just gonna have to wait and see what it is but i i'm sure you guys are gonna love it yeah i hope so, so ariana ran in and got the olive garden now i'm running into tj maxx um, to look for another hoot because Carter's apparently discontinued, does not make them, does not sell them. You can't get them from Carter's anyway. But they said TJ Maxx might have them, so I'm going to see. No luck with Hoot 2.0. So, time to go home and eat some Olive Garden though, because I'm starving. What are you doing? Feeding our child so she won't scream. Oh, okay. And well, that's it's good. my breadstick, so I'm eating some of it too. Okay. We made it home, and this girl is finally content, and she loves her mashed potatoes. Can you reach it? Can you reach it? Good yeah. job. Now we just gotta work on you putting it away from your food when you're done. Instead of swiping it right through? Yeah. We have one dog here, and one dog here. They're really helping. hoping for some food, and they're not getting any. This is where Daisy pretty much always is while we eat. Like she'll have her paws <laughs> up on my seat right here. So we're really tired. We're gonna go to bed now. Um, yesterday's question of the day. It's the next day, guys. <laughs> yesterday's question, question of the day was what? Oh, how do you uh, go to sleep? Yeah, you can't sleep. Um, normally just like scroll. I feel like you social media never can't and, sleep. Yeah, I most nights I can just go to sleep right yeah, away. Yeah, he falls asleep so fast. Like <laughs> I'm like talking to him. Like, I start saying something, and he's awake, and literally 15 seconds in, he's asleep. It happened last night. Yeah. I tend to just sit there and toss and turn, and, like, if I really can't fall asleep, then I'll just, like, scroll through Instagram or Twitter or YouTube or something like that for, like, 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll try to go to sleep again, and then the cycle just continues. Yeah. Until I fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, today's question of the day. what do you do? I get the booby juice. Or she comes and lays in bed with us. That too. Um, today's question of the day is going to be... Should I find it, another one on this? <laughs> Certainly. Okay. While she's looking for new question of the day. Obviously, i almost 100% certain that everybody has, at this point, heard about the attacks in France, Paris. It's 
really devastating to hear about these types of attacks and I, I don't know what the total death count is at this point but it's a lot and there's a lot of families that have been affected and just the people that are in the area when it happens so please just keep them in your prayers keep the country of France as they are trying to work through this and what's the question of the day do you save old greeting cards and letters or like birthday cards those kind of things or do you throw them all away and why it's a good one let us know comments down below and be honest be honest i feel like this is a question that not everyone admits to yeah <laughs> hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video as always guys we will see your wonderful faces on monday <gasps> oh and we'll show you guys in monday's vlog but we did get the high chair she was very apologetic her mm -hmm. husband had surgery um which i knew about and i guess the surgery didn't go as planned and so she had to go get a medication and she just completely forgot but she came and drove here and dropped it off this morning so yeah. but we'll show you guys it in monday's vlog so with that we'll see you guys tomorrow monday. well monday yeah <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>